Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> Today we'll be talking about a unique Victorinox that I think is highly underrated in the EDC community for what it can do and size, price, everything. And that is the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker. It's part of the Tinker series where they've swapped out the corkscrew on the back for a full dimension number two Phillips. Good addition. I do like the corkscrew. I've got one on my uh, should play better. Uh, I've got a corkscrew on my tamp here. I'll talk do a video on this sometime in the future, but corkscrew is good, but I think for those of you that don't want to be messing with ropes or wine bottles, this is probably the better choice for you. Just right off the bat with that. Um, let's get into the tools. As usual, we have the main blade from Victorinox. Victorinox Swiss made stainless. Holds an edge decently. I know it's not the best steel in the knife world for you knife nuts, but it's a good one. We have a secondary smaller blade on the same row on the back. On the same row on the mini tools side, we have the screwdriver. Next row down, we have the scissors, best scissors in the multiverse. Mine came a little sticky, brand new, which is super rare for Victorinox because their quality control is through the roof. This thing, you know, you, you buy a Victorinox, 99 out of 100, I guarantee it's gonna be good. To get one with gummed up scissors like that was a rare thing indeed, and I kind of see it as a novelty. But even though they stick, they're still the best scissors out there better than most for sure and tries to prove me wrong right there okay this is some small paracord from Hobby Lobby I have used the heck out of these scissors I will get I will say that I mean these are not mint these have these have had over a year of solid solid use not great for rope but they do cut paper quite good uh, snippy see Good and easy on paper still. Um, I'll save the special tool for last. You have their usual uh, flathead Phillips drivers, and the flathead uh, has that half stop there. And I call this one Phillips because this is a small flat and number one Phillips combo kind of deal here. Works pretty good for that. Mini tools, we have your usual all with the little hole for stitching. Comment down below if you've ever used this, used that for stitching. I use mine for poking holes for wood for my boat models. Um, package hook. I have used this thing a surprising amount. That is, that is handy. I would say Victorinox should keep that for sure. Scale tools are the usual toothpick and tweezers. Nothing fancy there. Um... But the tool that makes this un more unique and better than most Victorinoxes, in my personal opinion of having used several over the years, is a pair of pliers. It's small, I know, compared to the Swiss tool full-size multi-tool pliers, like, that's just a glorified tweezer, but... I find these... There's a lot of times where you're doing stuff, you need something stronger than your fingers, but you don't want full-sized, you know, jumbo pliers like that. And these come in very handy. Uh, up close, you can see at the base, there is like a little, tiny little wire cutter for like electrical cables. That works quite well. We have a crimper here at the bottom. Works really only well on small stuff super small stuff, normal household electrical and car electric. Uh, not the crimpers that you would use on that are just big enough that this really cannot quite do the job. Now, one thing you can kind of do is line up the crimpers, line, line up the thing you want crimped in the crimpers here. We'll put it in the tool and then like squeeze down. And that can do a pretty good job of crimping things shut, but it uses the same spring as the scissors, as you can see, 
Mm. Same size spring, same configuration. Uh, but like I have used pliers so dang much. And if I had to pick one, one pli a one and done plier where it is just, that's all you're gonna carry, I'll take that any day. Victoria Knox was tool X. That is, that would be my one and done. But if I'm traveling lighter and I don't think I'm going to be doing that much heavy work, these are the ones that I would suggest that you get. Yes, it's thicker than a, some of your basic cadets and stuff. It's not the most pocketable thing. Pocketable, if you got cargo pockets, that's great for the cargo pockets. If you're wearing skinny jeans, well, nothing's going to work. Um, you can buy one of the aftermarket Swiss clips and put it on this model and you've got a pocket clip on it which makes this very carryable because if you're the kind of EDC guy and I think you are you've probably got a flashlight like that no light S2 or 2 baton or a Phoenix version of that whatever very comparable dimensions all around so if you've got this in your pocket with a clip get this with a clip you're not going to feel that much different about it you could put a clip on this but that'll be sitting really funky in your pocket don't try that. Done that, try that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it's thicker than most. I, it does not come with a little pick. That This pick hole comes empty when you get it. But I went to Hobby Lobby and went to the Sewology section and got me some a box of picks for a couple bucks and threw one in there complete carry now but this fits most this checks off most of the things that I want in a multi-tool if I'm carrying just one multi-tool and that is knife blade scissors pliers if I can I like to get bit driver and saw or not saw uh, bit driver and a file saws like next on sixth down the list I do use saws but not that often um, But that checks off enough of the boxes that I think this is a viable carry for many people. I think most people would, could get one of these and be quite happy about it. Having just this as their one and done EDC, like, I mean, you add your flashlight and whatever little other little knickknacks you want. But if you're talking multi-tool and you want minimal multi-tool, this is the way to go. And I would suggest that you pair this with the Leatherman Ratchet. You're wondering how this works. I saw that face you made. Pull the pliers out. It works best with the ratchet because you can uh, use the ratcheting implements there. But you get just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of play there. Snap the pliers down. You've got like this neat little pistol grip screwdriver. You just hold down on the pliers when you use this and you now have bit driving capabilities with this tool. I found found this out the other day just messing around and that, that stays in there pretty good. You can also throw in the normal bits like that if you're just doing slight you know quarter turn half one full turn uh adjustments on something like you just got a slightly loose screw just need to tighten it a little bit that works right there but uh this is a great combination right here having the just stuffing that in that hole there i am just amazed that even worked but it's, it's a comfortable grip. I'm not afraid of the thing uh, flopping all over the place. It does flop some like that. But if it's that snug, you're probably going to have another tool. If whatever you're screwing is that snug that you're popping that all over the place, you're probably going to get a better screwdriver for the job anyway. This is just those little touch-up jobs. And I would say that's a good combo right there. But... Comparing this, you know, this is obviously going to have more functionality than a single bladed pocket knife because, you know, 
there's multiple functions for a knife blade, but the knife blade is a knife blade, and there's not ev you don't want to do everything with that. QSP Penguin, by the way, which is that model. But here you got two knife blades. One can be a beater, one can be a saver. You've got scissors that you can use to snip a lot of things. They do wear down after a while, as evidenced earlier. The pliers are phenomenal. These are this is my favorite thing that I thought was going to be gimmicky. When I first saw that Victorinox had pliers like this, I thought it was going to be gimmicky, but it's not. It really isn't. These are wonderful, wonderful pliers. You can use hold it, hold the tool and do a one finger grip. You can do two finger grip. You can kind of even choke up and do full three finger if you're trying to really hold something down. But I've used these for splinters, fine work, and these are wonderful because they can really go into the tightest little spots, grab something, and get it out, or push it in, depending on what you're trying to do, trying to weave a rope through something. This is good. The whole video is really more about this than the, the multi-tool, because you've, you've seen the scissors and other reviews of on YouTube. You've seen the knife blades. You've seen the can opener, bottle opener, but I haven't seen a lot of videos highlighting this. And... I just think this is the prime Victorinox. If you're going to carry one Victorinox, if you've never bought a Victorinox before, and you're wondering which one to buy, I highly, highly recommend getting the Deluxe Tinker. It's part of the Tinker series. You have the Tinker, which is can opener, bottle opener, knife blade, small knife blade, and screwdriver, and uh, all. Then you have the Super Tinker. My dad has the one that I first bought, and it has everything on here but the pliers. It has the scissors, knife blade, yada yada, base tools. Deluxe Tinker is the top of the trilogy with pliers. And this thing is just freaking phenomenal. It, it's worth it. It looks gimmicky. It is not gimmicky. It looks weak. It is not weak. The stronger your hands, the better you'll crimp with that. It's just wonderful. And it's solid. Like, you may be looking at this part right here and be wondering if that's strong enough. It is. This is not going anywhere. That is that is solid. You're not it's gonna be super hard to break that. If you if you break the plier heads on this, you're putting some weird pressure leverage on this end that you shouldn't be applying. If you're, if you're just using your hands, I don't see how you could break this. I mean, anything physical can break. That's just physics. You might be able to snap off the tiny little bit of the tip, but you're not going to break the rest of this. That is so wide going around. That's, that's secure. But let's see if I can get everything, at least the main tools, opened uh, without cutting myself. Here we go. There we go, focus. That's gonna be the catchphrase of the channel, people. Focus. But that is the tool set of the Deluxe Tinker. And like I said, it, it has everything I want at a minimum. It has a knife blade, it has scissors, and it has pliers. That's what I want in a multi-tool at an absolute minimum. If I can, I like to have a bit driver, but I know some of those can be gimmicky and not everybody wants to carry around a lot of bits, but I would like to have a file. Now there is a model called um, the Handyman, I believe it is, and that's basically the Swiss Champ minus uh this this and the fun fish scaler take these three tools out of the champ and you've got the handyman which means that it has the file it has the saw it has scissors pliers knife blades all that good stuff and the leatherman any of the victorinox swiss Ar swiss army knives that have the pliers 
can do the all do the Leatherman hack. If you've already got a model with the pliers like that, I don't know about the Venger version of the pliers that have the little slip joint to adjust. I don't know if it'll work with that. I haven't gotten one. I don't know. Probably will. I'm not going to guarantee it. But the normal Victorinox pliers, like you see here, if your knife has that, your knife can do the Leatherman ratchet driving hack. Try it. It's worth it. But I am fine personally. I am fine personally with carrying a bigger tool in my cargo pockets of my pants. That's that's fine with that. But if you're wanting to slim down, like you want the absolute bare minimum of what you can have in a multi-tool and still have enough functions to get through your day, do your stuff without having to bring a toolbox. I think this could be the model for you. I think everything on here serves enough of a purpose and does that purpose well, does its job that it's made for well enough, more than well enough, to be viable. And I'll probably do better reviews of some of these videos later on, I'm just kind of rambling here. But I noticed not a lot of people have talked about the Deluxe Tinker. There's a few videos out there on YouTube, but not a lot. And I just think it's a banger tool. I think it's awesome. I think not enough people know that it exists to even give it a try. And so that's my review on this tool. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Adios.